Joel, with everything happening in the market, eyes must be on you. Gold and copper. Can you give us an update on what's happening with True Precious? Yeah, absolutely. We've been quite uh, active on both the corporate and exploration fronts. I mean, the key value driver for us is our Golden Rose project in central Newfoundland. We're, we're right between two gold deposits, 5 million ounces, marathon gold on one side, and they're putting their mine into production uh, in 2025. And the other side is Matador Mining with a significant gold resource. We control all the land between them through some of our corporate activities, and we've been firming up the potential of land through exploration. Oh. So we actually announced a 2000 meter drill program at a new target area on a Golden Rose project uh, about two months ago. We've recently wrapped the program. We'll be putting out results imminently as soon as we get them from the lab. That's it's an interesting new target because it's really firming up some copper potential on our property, which wasn't previously known. The area has never been drilled. Um, and in order to kind of build out the property package around this, we had uh, earlier in August, we had actually closed a strategic property acquisition to pick up the missing puzzle pieces of Golden Rose, such that there are now only those three dominant players, you know, in this area, Newfoundland, Marathon Gold, True Precious Metals, and Matador Mining. So we think we're well positioned corporately. Uh, exploration results coming up soon. Um, okay. And then furthermore, you also mentioned in your first answer, when we start, first started talking about your drill program, you just started your, your 2000 meter drill program at the Jacobs Pond area of the Golden Rose Project in Newfoundland, Canada, <laughs> uh, earlier in August. When should we anticipate some results? So the drill results from that program should be coming out imminently now in mid-September. You have to wait for the lab to get through the assays. We saw a lot of indications at surface for copper, even bits of cobalt, as well as things like silver and lead. We're very much looking forward to seeing what the lab comes up with from these, uh, from these drill holes. And of course, your most recent announcement was an option agreement for Staghorn Project, and you achieved strategic consolidation of Cape Ray Valentine Lake Shear Zone. All right, dumb that down for us. It sounds like a mouthful, but I guess really, you know, there's two major companies on either side of us, as I've previously spoken about. We hold most of the land between those two, almost all of it. And with this option agreement for the Staghorn project, we now have the rights to acquire the little bits that were left be between us and the two gold deposits on either side. So it really ties up the, the land package with a bow, makes it a great turnkey project for potential acquirers down the road, and gives us even more discovery potential to explore. I always tell investors, investor intel audience, Always start by looking your CEO up on LinkedIn. Get an idea of their background. Of course, you have m and You're a top m and expert, correct? I wouldn't go that far, but sure. I do have, I do have a transactional uh, law, legal background, that's right, as well as in the capital market side. So for anyone out there, of course, who is an investor following True Precious Metals, undoubtedly the fact that you do have these talents is something we may be watching you do in the future. Is that a consideration? It's absolutely a consideration. Everyone knows how long the road is to get to a mine, you know, even assuming you find something of interest on the property. I do believe in the geological merit of gold and rose. I know that's already attracting interest from neighbors and other parties. And I think as we prove up the, you know, mineral potential on gold and rose, that will make us an increasingly interesting target to do a, some sort of corporate partnership or M&A with, uh, you know, most likely a larger company. So that is for down the road, but it's certainly in the agenda for us. And I think we've shown that actually through our property acquisition program of putting together Golden Rose in the last year. We picked up basically as much property as we could. We're doing the dirty work to make it a turnkey project for potential acquirers. Well, Joel, what should we anticipate, say, in the upcoming quarter? Because we are watching you. You're an amazing area. And of course, with the market turning the way that it is, a lot of us are going, hey, what do we have in our gold portfolio? Yeah, the drill results is going to be the most immediate catalyst. And I, you know, I very much like us to expand beyond just gold into gold and copper. So we're looking to see some copper in these drill results. I think that'd be a nice diversifier to the project. And beyond that, we are setting up for a fall exploration program, still scoping out how that would look. At some point, it will make sense to do a follow on drill program as well. Uh, and at the same time, you know, we're still looking to do some corporate initiatives for non dilutive financing, things like dealing out some of our non core properties. We successfully optioned out our Twilight Gold project back in mid-August, which is great. And so we're going to be looking to continue that on the corporate side with our other projects. Well, Joel, as always, it's a pleasure. And we look forward to seeing you regularly this fall. So thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Tracy.